The reigning player of the year in the PBA is none other than E.J. Tackett. The guy who had the title three times before that, Jason Belmonte. They're in this Scorpion battle. So will there be an exchange of player of the year honors? This Scorpion championship will say a lot about that. He looks good. And we welcome you inside the National Bowling Stadium in Reno, the Geico PBA World Series of Bowling, and the Pepsi Scorpion Championship. We've got a real battle of styles here with EJ Tackett, Jason Belmonte. Could they face each other for Player of the Year honors? Plus, Sean Maldonado and the fun to watch style of Brandon Novak, Randy. Last time we saw Brandon Novak, in fact, the only time was on this same pattern. So, the players of the year are standing by with Kimberly. They sure are. So EJ, they were just talking about player of the year. So let's look forward a little bit. Are you still in the running for the 2017 player of the year? The only chance I have um, is to win today. Uh, Belmont's had a fantastic year winning two majors. Uh, we both have three titles so far, but um, I have to get one title ahead of him to have any chance at all. Are you feeling a little pressure because of it? Um, you know, you can't really think about it. You just got to go out and do your job and let everything else take care of itself. All right. Well, good luck to you, and thank you so much thank for your you. time. So, Jason, kind of like what I was asking him, we're going to talk about uh, the prospect of the 2017 Player of the Year. You're in the front running right now, just like he was saying. Do you think you have it all locked up? No, I mean, it's, uh, it's down to a vote. So it's never locked up until the votes are counted. Um, all I can do is throw my best shots out here, uh, try and win this tournament or the... Uh, the World Championship, and I think if I do either of those, then I'll be a lot more comfortable coming into the voting process. Well, we spoke to you about 30 minutes ago in the last match, in the last uh, Cheetah Championship, and you weren't feeling too well. How are you feeling now? I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do my best. I, I feel like I've got an okay reaction on the lane. Um, I'm going to hit my spot and close my eyes when I'm, I'm in the back there. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Dave, Randy. All right, thank you very much, EJ and Belmo. Certainly appreciate that. Now, as with all the other animal pattern programs we've seen so far, we'll see all four competitors going at once on this pattern. Yeah, Scorpion, 42 feet. I've, I watched the players in warm-ups, and they played them a couple of different ways. We saw EJ Tackett kind of playing third arrow out to about eight, but I also saw Urethane going down the lane as well from the extreme outside part of the lane, one by Jason Belmonte, another by Sean Maldonado. And Belmo will start on the left lane. And he'll, oh Lord, I was about to say he'll start with a strike, and he won't. Well, I, I usually don't like to comment on solid aids. I don't expect you to. I'll take it. Thank you. So here is E.J. Tackett out of Indiana. Eight tour titles in just five years, and he's only 25 years old. And he gets a ringing 10. So the two Thanks players of the year get ripped off on their opening shots. Two really good shots, two bad results. Really fast six around the 10. Jason will take care of his single pin. And we have a real mix of styles in this Scorpion Championship. Tackett really just cranks it. Belmo, of course, made the two-handed style famous. That leads us to the proud son of Chillicothe, Ohio, Brandon Novak, and this style. Take a look. through the face leaves behind 3610. Well, he struggled last year on this pattern and his first time on television shooting only 175, but you're right, very unique swing. We'll talk about it a little bit later. And a different look at a two-handed player here with Sean Maldonado. He's going with the earth egg. And he's going to go sit down with the only strike in the first frame. A little different style, though. He actually puts his thumb in it. But watch the swing planes created by Brandon Novak. Big push to the right. Backswing behind him, realigns it, and he does a great job of getting his hand in the right spot at the bottom of the swing. He almost made that spare on the fly. So again, you're not looking at the traditional step ladder. All four 
going at once, almost as Randy put it, like qualifying all over again. And then the final two for the Scorpion title. And a good look at what Belmos, actually what the other players were looking at as Belmo strikes. Looks like he's trying to keep the insides from coming on the outside and uh, Belmonte is actually looks a little bit better on this telecast than he did the last. And Tackett kicks aside the 10, the tour earnings leader for this year. Tackett's going to make over 200,000 this year for the first time in his career. And Novak got a hit on the eight. Was that the mechanic in the back hitting that? It looked like somebody that did was, something. That was crazy. What pin did that? It was the head pin. It was airborne. It looked like a helicopter blade. And Maldonado buries 10 in the pit. Good start for the Houston native. The candy man, Candy Maldonado. I don't know if you remember that baseball I player. do, absolutely. Yeah. You know what? I've got a trivia. Not trivia, but I've got a useless moment for you in my life. At Tiger Stadium, I was there with a friend, and I caught a home run ball in batting practice from Candy Maldonado. That's a great story, and it fits. Oh, Ooh, tack it, yeah. One more. Sure. Huge break. I don't even know if he knows it. He walked away from that shot and is just now getting an eyeful of what was left behind, which is much more doable. Belmo just trying to fight through it. That'll make you feel better. Yeah, well, going solid eight, solid nine, back to back on the same lane would have been pretty salty. And here is our Barbasol, close shave of the day. Solid nine, and that spinning pin catches just enough of it. Go back. Carries another light swisher. Novak looking for his first tour title. So is Sean Maldonado. Get there. Yeah. Oh, 7 10. Oh, and the 10 go down. We got some good pin action going. Sean Maldonado opens with a triple. So the Scorpion Championship, Jason Belmonte fighting through a little illness, E.J. Tackett. He says this is his only chance to defend his Player of the Year title. The Geico World Series of Bowling Pepsi DBA Scorpion Championship presented by Go Bowling is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By Reno Tahoe for your next vacation getaway. Go to visit RenoTahoe.com. By Barbasol Premium Disposable Razor. You're looking good, America. And by Eldorado Properties, downtown Reno's Eldorado, Silver Legacy, and Circus Circus. Fun for everyone. And now our tournament highlights for the Scorpion pattern. Warming up for his interview with Kimberly Pressler, Jason Belmonte taking on a former professional video gamer in Ray Lussier, who's got game in bowling. But when you run up against the guy who could be player of the year again, sometimes it just isn't fair. Didn't even like his approach and still struck. Belmo wins 2-0. Next up, Don Barrett. His opponent. The Candyman, Sean Maldonado. And there you go, ripping the rack. Saw on the 10. Maldonado wins two zip. Now, here is the reigning player of the year, EJ Tackett, and the always exciting Arturo Quintero. But mm, uh, Tackett had all the excitement there with a power punch and a 2 1 win. Brandon Novak taking on Matt McNeil. Hey, where are you going? What? Wait, wait, where's that swing going? I'll tell you where it's going. 10 in the pit. He takes down McNeil 2 1. 
Now, those four made the show, but a guy who made a lot of noise is the great Boston Red Sox right fielder and a real, real friend of the PBA, Mookie Betts, on his way in Scorpion qualifying, Randy, to a perfect game. Playing right in between second and third arrow and Mookie Betts, well, it is nothing but perfect right here on this last shot for 300. So, at number one, we start the fourth frame. Sean Maldonado, perfect through three, with Belmo and Novak 10 back, and EJ Tackett 20 back. And let's take our Randy Peterson track tech talk, two handed version. Two ways to use two hands to throw a bowling ball. Maldonado with his thumb in it. No thumb for Belmonte, but the thing that is very similar in that approach is that little pivot step, that little hop right before they go into the slide. Then when they get into the slide, right at the foul line, they use the floor as leverage to propel the ball down the lane. So here's EJ Tackett's row to the finals. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't real fond of that one, and he shouldn't Oops. have been. Now Belmo. Took out his great friend Bill O'Neill. And we saw the Lucier highlight earlier. Yeah. He's making better shots on this telecast than on Cheetah. At least he's able to, to be posting up a shot. So Maybe you just need a little bit of time as EJ Tackett almost goes over the foul line. A little trouble on the approach there, stares that down. Of course, the, this stadium a year ago was the site of such an emotional victory for him when he won the World Championship. World Bowling Championship made him player of the year. Novak got up and carried a light mixer again. Maldonado, left lane. Perfect. He is perfect. Straight strikes through four. Both Maldonado and Jason Belmonte using urethane. EJ Tackett going with Forza SS. And a beauty on the 10 pin. Watch the six just slap the 10 silly. Belmo was struck three straight times. Ooh, he fell off of that shot. Got a lot of pin action out of it and has just a single pin left. Struggling. He's fighting through it. And watch him fall off of this one. Boy, how often do you ever see that? No, you never see it. Yeah. And the Candyman can. Hard to believe that Sean Maldonado has never won out here. That may change today. And he's got a little extra incentive now that he's the father of a beautiful daughter born in August. So what a Christmas it'll be for Sean and Mia. Trying to fight through it with just every ounce of energy he's got left in his body is Jason Belmonte. Meantime, Brandon Novak, who finished fourth in this show a year ago, throwing the spoiler, has struck three straight times. Make it four. Novak trying to be the spoiler. Right now, Maldonado followed by Brandon Novak. Third is Belmonte. And in fourth, E.J. Tackett. And Belmo throwing, pitch black. Same thing he used on Cheetah. He did not make the Cheetah final. Jesper Svensson won that over Thomas Larson. And there is that incredible pin action he gets. Even a light hit can be dangerous. Well, you know, that's one of the things that I wanted to mention was when you have that much power, EJ has that much power, but it makes the pocket bigger. And I wanted to touch that on last on our last telecast with Cheetah. 
Ooh, five pin. Goodbye. When we saw Thomas Larson leaving those flat tens, the ball's mm -hmm. coming just a little bit late, but his rev rate's so much lower. Now you put that that same ball in the same spot in the pocket with the EJ Tack at Belmonte rev rate, and he strikes. And Novak just continues quietly going about his business. That's five in a row. And that's what Maldonado is working up right now. He is throwing hot cell. Stop. And that one got away from him. It looked like it hooked early. He asked for it to stop. It didn't listen. I'm taking a re -rack. Yeah, Tack is taking a re-rack here so we can look at Molinato again. Yeah, it may have been a little left to target as well. Yeah. And he will shoot his spare before Tackett comes up. So Maldonado clean through six. As you heard the spare ball rolling over the thumb hole. Okay for shooting spares straight. Not so good if you're throwing a strike ball. So Tackett is re-rack being worked on right now. This year Tackett won the main event PBA Tour Finals in Orlando. Of course the Tournament of Champions in Shawnee, Oklahoma. And in Japan to start the year he won the PBA Japan Invitational. Like that is how he did it. Yeah, and he's thinking to himself, to have any chance, I've got to strike out. And he's on a three bagger now, but his max score is 258. And if we maxed everybody out right now, that would be the low score. So on our animal pattern shows, we've seen Liz Johnson make bowling history, Richie Teese get his first title, and Jesper Svensson his seventh. And we've had nothing but tears in the winner's circle. And Belmo kicks aside a nine. Huge break. Tripping the four in the nine late. Keeps him in it. Maldonado said two in a row, and now disaster. Two in a row that got away from him. Meantime, Novak just marching on. And Novak, six straight strikes. Brandon Novak just quietly going about his business. Take a run at it! And it was a bold effort by Maldonado, but in such a potentially really high scoring match our hammer tough spare replay we almost had one for you by the six pin a little reluctant to slide over Tackett working three in a row four in a row now man just pure raw power Belmonte off of a double. This to keep him ahead of EJ Tackett. And he is still ahead of EJ Tackett, the man with the golden shoes. Well, if you don't strike now, you really fall behind. Yes, and that's sir. what's happened with Maldonado here. Comes right back. Yeah, but that great church in the seventh may come back to haunt Sean Maldonado. Well, Brandon Novak may have the memory of what happened to him a year ago in this show. Shot a 175. He'll take care of that already. But that one got away from him a little bit. And he's got a spare to convert in the eighth. Well, Belmonte can strike out now in the ninth and tenth and lock himself into the title match. Wow, that was really 
powerful from Belmo. Looked like he cranked up the speed on that shot a little bit. Yeah, and it was probably because of the last time he tripped the 4 9, and that lane's probably starting to hook a little bit early, so he just combated that with ball speed. This is, look at the max. How crazy is that? That if Maldonado maxes out a 251 and everybody else maxes, he has to watch the final after throwing a 251. That's insane. Attack at 258 would not be good enough. Five pin wobbled and it fell down. Yeah, it was good, really great pin action here at the National Bowling Stadium. And we've seen that in this match already. Almost trip two. Big trouble now for Brandon Novak. Boy, has this gone back and forth. He was sailing on what do you have? Six in a row in frames two through seven, then left eight spare in the eighth, and now he's got the single pin here. Puts 10 away. If Belmonte strikes out and EJ Tackett strikes out, they'll bowl for the title. Well, that would be something. Max score now, Brandon Novak, 257. Maldonado, 251. Tackett, 258. Belmonte, 269. If Belmonte doesn't strike on this ball, he may not make it. Riding four straight. Strike nine, Sperry locks himself on. Not any doubt. His best looking shot of this match. Nine, Sperry, he's in. Tackett needs all three. Well, Tackett's five in a row right now. Make it six. Shot. Pure pocket power. Great shot by EJ. Your turn, Jace. The past two players of the year hand fighting to try to get to the championship match. There it is. He's in. Jason Belmonte will have a chance to add a 16th title here in Reno. And now Tackett, who's looking for his ninth and his fourth this year. And I'll remind you what he told Kimberly, my only chance to repeat as player of the year is I've got to win this championship. The clutch from the messenger. One more. Nine, we could have a tie with him and Brandon Novak. Strike, and he locks it up. Massive messenger comes ripping across to take the 10 out. And Belmo will finish up his game. What a finish for yeah. that dude, huh? Yeah, 269, huge, huge finish. Started with a solid eight. And ends with seven in a row. Yeah, take away that ridiculous solid eight. Wow. So tack it here for 258. And it will be Tackett versus yeah. Belmo. What a finish. What a finish. The reigning player of the year, E.J. Tackett, and a past multiple player of the year, Jason Belmonte, face to face for the Scorpion Championship.
PBA.com is your home for PBA live scoring and all the latest PBA news, stats, player bios, and more. Additionally, if you are interested in submitting a video for the Go Bowling PBA Fan Tip of the Week, simply click on the Go Bowling logo on the PBA.com homepage. All that and a whole lot more at PBA.com. Well, it is time for our Go Bowling Fan Tip of the Week with Randy Peterson. And Randy, we're going to go to the great city of Lincoln, Nebraska, legendary Sun Valley Lanes, and here from AJ. Hi Randy, my name is AJ Putney and I live in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm at Sun Valley Lanes and I'm having trouble picking up the 2 8 spare. Can you help me? Hey, I, I, this is real easy. AJ, listen, move about four boards to the right with your feet on the approach. Use the same strike target. Roll it over that strike target, you'll make the 2-8 every time. There you go, AJ. There is your Go Bowling Tip of the Week from Randy Peterson. And now, this is a nice little match we've got coming up here. we got Belmo and we got EJ Tackett, past player of the year, reigning player of the year. Belmo a little off his pins, so to speak, but certainly bowled brilliantly. And Tackett, just 11 pins back of him. What do you think? These guys went nuts at the end with strikes. You know, we, we always used to say you had to beware of that sick player. And that's Belmonte. And look at him right there. I mean, he's he doesn't have a whole lot left. Question for me and for everybody watching is, does he have enough to get by E.J. Tackett? I think E.J. Tackett is locked and loaded. And if, as long as E.J. can stay ahead of the transition, I think he's going to give Belmonte all he wants. The question is, does Belmonte have anything left in the tank? We are about to find out what is on that tank and in that tank for Jason Belmonte against E.J. Tackett. Player of the Year battle coming up. I feel like we should hire a ring announcer to get this match underway here at the Geico PBA World Series of Bowling, the National Bowling Stadium in Reno, Nevada, because we've got Jason Belmonte and EJ Tackett. Perhaps the heavyweight championship of bowling for 2017. Let's go back to 2008 and the big nasty Wes Malott at the initial PBA Scorpion Championship at the Brunswick Zone Hawthorne in Vernon Hills, Illinois. Kenny Samard with the big hand, the heavy rep rate. And he gave it to Wes, but on this day, nobody was stopping the big nasty. Well, except maybe a 10 pin. And then Samard oh. needed that 10, and Malat wins it by four, 216 to 212 in our Ebonite flashback 2008 Scorpion. Look how short his hair was. Same game though. Phenomenal game. One of the best releases on the tour. Just an incredible hand. Speaking of hands, this guy uses two, the other guy uses one, and they both collectively have a boatload of rev rate. And Belmo kicks aside the 10. You've got 23 tour titles combined, 10 majors, Belmo with eight of those. But he's also a little older than Tackett, too. And just another shot of, of him falling off. But, you know, the, the good news is he's able to direct it online. Bottles of Gatorade, trying to stay hydrated. And Tackett came in late that time, surprisingly. You know, when a player looks at the lane like that after a shot, it's because he threw it well, and the ball didn't react the way the player thought it would. And so that look is, hmm, I just went light. I wonder why and what is the move? Could you tell why there? I mean, there was just not enough friction created. That's why it didn't hook up into the pocket. Is it, I'm sorry, Dave, is it the urethane ball of Jason Belmonte's that's carrying oil down the lane and creating a hang spot for EJ Tackett? So here is Tackett. You see what he's done in 2017, 2016. He had four championships, including that big PBA World Championship here in Reno, that emotional victory. 
Also won the Bear Open, the Extra Frame Storm Open, PBA Team Challenge in Vegas. Out of Huntington, Indiana. Problem on the left lane for Tackett. Barely enough energy to wipe the oil off of his bowling ball. Bill Monty just gutting it out. Now the only thing he's just when he's up there, it's probably a little bit easier than sitting still. He can focus on his execution here. Which is pretty darn good. Let's go down the lane side. Kimberly Pressler standing by with Brandon Novak and Sean Maldonado. I sure am. And these guys should be proud. They went up against two heavy hitters, player of the years. And Sean, you had the front five, but then you had that Greek church in the seventh. What happened there? I uh, had, a, had a great start and then... Uh, ran, I threw a bad ball and then ran into some transition and um, got back on a little bit too late and they showed why they're the two greatest right now in the game. So, you know, that's you just got to roll with the punches and uh, get ready for the next one. Well, thank you so much for your time. You played well today. You. And Brandon, you did well as, as, as he did. So, listen, you had six strikes in a row. You should be proud. How is this World Series as a whole for you? Oh, it's definitely a great experience. I uh, had a, let a few shots it away from me in that last game and they took advantage of it. It, sh it shows why they're the best in the game right now. All right. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Congratulations to both Sean and Brandon. Bill Monty struck again for a three baggers. Somebody went to get him ringers lactate stat. That would be an IV for those of you that don't know the medical term. So that proves that you watch the old TV show emergency. Yes sir. Yeah. What do you call it, a party in the pit? You saw one right there. Ten pin party in the pit. Yep. Old friend of mine called that long ago. Not really sure what the adjustment was. Maybe it was a speed thing. Maybe he just got a little bit softer. There's that wrist and that elbow snapping through and him coming up on his toe. On his toes, just a little bit at the foul line, but that's how he creates all that speed and power. Get the ball into the swing, get the feet moving, and then cup and uncup and unload it into the lane. Lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> and from Pepsi, the vice president of sales, Todd Elliott, with a great seat for this matchup. Is that just a touch high? Yes, just a pinch. That ball looked like it read just a hair early for him. You see it jerk right there about halfway down the lane and ball goes right by the nine pin. You know, the rev rate is a great thing, but every now and then you don't see it a lot, but they run the risk of leaving the solid nine, the solid eight for the right-handers. Sometimes lost in all the high scores and strikes in the style is what a fine spare shooter Belmo is as he covers that. Can and I he, get a re-rack? Thanks, John. And he's going to get a re-rack. Chance to rehydrate, and that's one of the things if you're not feeling well, man. It's tough to keep things down, even liquids. Can be difficult. And it's just the, the way it makes your body feel. It's just like somebody took a bat and just started right below your neck and just repeatedly swung at you until they got down to about your shins. Your whole body just hurts like you got hit by a truck. Trouble through the face there, and he leaves a makeable spare behind. Now 
inside of target. But a nice break and only leaving the 6-10. Our festive set here on Christmas Eve. So no mistakes through five for Jason Belmonte. Now here comes EJ Tackett in a TV title match. He's four and three in his career. <clears throat> See, earnings leader in 2016, earnings leader in 2017. Simultaneous breakup. Right. Well, this is great pin action. This is the reason why you put power and speed on a bowling ball. <laughs> How about this match? This is what you wanted if you're going to get these two guys together with all they have accomplished the last few years, and just go at it. Oh, lay. What was he worried about there? It read early, and he said, oh, lay. Not like, oh, lay, like, oh, lay there. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> well, there are 10 pins on the deck. Not all the time. Arranged 12 inches apart in an equilateral triangle. The pins are numbered 1 through 10, beginning with a head pin, 1, and then moving left to right in each row. And that is the last time I will ever say the words equilateral triangle. You're talking to a D geometry student here. Bucket. Yeah. Well, he's worried about the ball hooking early. He made a little bit of a move, and now all of a sudden it's not reading down lane, and that's the trouble with urethane at times. Bucket, 2 4, 5 8. So suddenly, Belmo, after opening with a triple, has not struck, and here he faces a very challenging conversion. But again, showing his class. Now in a must-strike situation here in the seventh. Still a max 253 for Jason Belmonte, but EJ Tackett, man, he's really going about it. He's got a max score of 290. Belmonte trails by 27. Little fist pump there for Belmo. He tries to throw a little shade back at Tackett. There's a little adjustment left, but this ball is on a better trajectory. So Tackett five in a row right now. But he finished with eight in a row in the previous match. A white hook. And suddenly, trouble. <sighs> Darn it, EJ. <clears throat> a 210 here for EJ. And he had a 50% conversion rate on that in Scorpion qualifying on this particular split. Now 33%. And suddenly the lead shrinks. And Belmo is sitting on a strike in the seventh. EJ can still shut out Belmonte by striking out eighth, ninth, and tenth. And taking his time here. And I, I think, you know, if you go back a couple of years, this is where we would see EJ kind of 
unravel, but uh, he's a different bowler these days. And the oh. messenger I thought was going to dance over to that 10 pin, and it did not. Hackett, who's in a very exclusive club Correct. with Jason Belmonte, Chris Barnes, Tommy Jones, and Mike Albee to be Rookie of the Year and Player of the Year in their careers. He's been perfect on 10 pins. Stays perfect. Well, now things can get really interesting if Belmo can bury 10 here. Well, a double here in the eighth and ninth will set up the whole entire match and the championship. Remember last time on this lane, he went light. Yeah, this is the lane he left the bucket on and converted. Fell off a bit again through the face and a 4 9. Well, that couldn't have come at a worse time. Tried to go a little bit more direct. And it goes high, leaving the 4 9 split. Just when he gave, was given an opportunity. And it's very unlike him. Trying to slide that four across, didn't go. Max score now 221 for Belmonte. EJ Tackett already at 226. Thank you, Rerack. And he'll take his other re-rack. Chance to re get his thoughts back together. Sort of the equivalent of a 30 second timeout in basketball. This guy is on E. And the light's blinking. But just <laughs> enough gas to get home. <laughs> Massive messenger by Belmo. And just keeps himself alive. Slim. Slim chance for Belmonte. This man in the driver's seat. Well, this lane gave him trouble last time. But not this time. Beautiful shot there by E.J. Tackett. He needs a mark and good count. And he'll win for the ninth time. And the fourth time this year. So four titles last year and potentially four titles this year. your mark. Yes. There's your winner. E.J. Tackett. Title number nine. And again, 25 years old. We've already seen Jesper Svensson at 22. Seven titles. 25 years old. A ninth title. And he defeats. Multiple winner of Player of the Year, the two Players of the Year of the last two years. Great sportsmanship at the end, and EJ Tackett is your Scorpion Champion. Great win for Tackett. He knew he needed it if he had any chance of repeating Player of the Year, and Reno is his friend again. Cool.
Geico World Series of Bowling Pepsi PBA Scorpion Championship presented by Go Bowling is brought to you by Go Bowling. Promotional offers, tips to improve your game, news, or to locate a bowling center near you. Log on to GoBowling.com. By Reno Tahoe. For your next vacation getaway, go to visit RenoTahoe.com. By the United States Bowling Congress. Creating competitive opportunities at all levels as we build a future for the sport. Visit Bowl.com for more. And by Pepsi, proud sponsor of the PBA Scorpion Championship. And it is time for our Geico Championship recap. E.J. Tackett comes out on top. Yeah, and a lot of things went his way, but he bowled great as well. Chip the 7-10 late. He gave Belmonte an opening in the seventh, but Belmonte four nines in between strikes. E.J. Tackett needed a mark and good count the tenth. And what better way to mark than by shredding the rack and capturing yes. its ninth title? Let's throw it down to Kimberly. Thanks, guys. I am Lane Stide with EJ. You were very excited about this win. When we talked at the top of the show, you said you must win this in order to be considered for the 2017 Player of the Year. How much did you use that as motivation? Well, I mean, it's been the motivation all week. You know, the last two years coming into this tournament has been, I, I've known I had to win. Um, last year, I had to win the World Championship, and I got it done. This year, I, I felt like I needed to win the World Championship. Wasn't so good, but. You know, I feel like I've done my job now, and, um, you know, the rest is going to be up to uh, to my fellow players. Congratulations on your ninth PBA Tour title. DJ Tackett, a worthy champion. Coming up in a week, Sunday, 1 o'clock Eastern, the final major on the PBA calendar for 2017, the World Championship. What a field we have for you. The Scorpion Championship featured... Player of the Year several times over, Jason Belmonte. Reigning Player of the Year, E.J. Tackett. Great bowling from Sean Maldonado as well. And Brandon Novak, he loves this pattern. Two years in a row he's been on this show, but it's Tackett on top in Reno again. Belmonte battling illness, bowled bravely, but at the end it's Tackett on top. For Kimberly and Randy and our ESPN crew, I'm Dave Lamont. Merry Christmas from Reno.